Hey everyone, Destek here. This video is all about the upcoming Ryzen 5 lineup of processors by AMD, which will be available in market on April 11th. AMD has disclosed four of their products under Ryzen 5 family: the Ryzen 5 1600X, 1600, the 1500X, and the 1400. While 1600X and 1600 is a six-core 12th thread processors, 1500X and 1400 is more budget-oriented, having four core and eight threads. By these chips, AMD has entered the more of a budget and performance kind of sweet spot where most of the people in the world play games. The Ryzen 7 CPUs were more enthusiast grade processors whereas we all know i5 dominated the market by about half of its share as more people find it excellent for gaming and working sweet spot. And if AMD provides more cores and performance with the same amount of money, then yes, they will dominate most of the market by these chips only. Coming to the specs, Ryzen 5 1600X as said before has 6, six cores and 12 threads with a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost of 4 GHz and have a 95 Watt of TDP and will cost you around $250. Next up is 1600 with same core and thread count with a slightly lower clock speed, 3.2 GHz as the base and 3.6 boost and a 65 Watt of TDP and will cost you $219. The third one is a 1500X with 4 cores and 8 threads with a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a boost of 3.7 GHz. This have a TDP of 65 watts and is of $190. The 1400 is a base in this lineup having base of 3.2 GHz and a boost of 3.5 GHz with same core and thread count as 1500X, 65 watt TDP and is of $170. All of these will have unlocked multiplier which means you can overclock each one of these processors. The 1600X will not have any stock cooler as you will be installing an aftermarket cooler anyhow because you will be spending this much amount of money on a processor, you will be using its full potential by overclocking it. The 1600 and 1500X will include the Wraith Spire and the 1400 with Wraith Stealth which have a lower footprint than Spire. Unfortunately, AMD will not bring any RGB version of the coolers. Coming on the prices, AMD has done a smart move by putting up such competitive price against the Intel i5 series which, as told earlier, has a huge demand in the market. The release is not far enough from the date of filming this video. The thing here is to see that Will it be able to compete with an Intel i5 in terms of gaming performance? These Ryzen are good in video and editing and synthetic benchmarks because of higher core count but lack in gaming performance because of lower instructions per clock than Intel as games still are more sensitive to higher IPCs than more cores. Once it is available in market, YouTube and tech sites will, will be flooded with reviews and benchmarks. So let's wait and see if AMD will be able to get more share in the mid-segment market or not. Comment down below your opinions. If you want to know more about already released Ryzen 7, there's a link in the video's description which I have also discussed about the specification and stuff. A follow-up video is coming up soon of benchmark and comparison with competitive Intel i7 processors. Like this video if you learned something, share it with your friends and subscribe to Test Tech for more future videos and reviews.